What if you could download the Windows 11 or Windows 10 ISO from the official Microsoft website, do a fresh install, but when you go onto the desktop, it looks like this. It has no bloatware, no telemetry and spyware services, and when you go to the task manager, you see this very low number of processes compared to the stock Windows install which comes with around 200 processes. So it's just a debloated and optimized Windows for gaming right from the start. That is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do today. We can actually achieve this optimized and clean Windows install by using the custom answer files or the unattended files. These are supported by Microsoft themselves and they can be used to modify the Windows settings in your image during the setup. We can also use them to trigger custom scripts so you can see where this is going. So to get started of course you will need to go down to the description and download the Windows 11 or the Windows 10 ISO file from the Microsoft website. For the sake of the video I'm gonna go with Windows 11 then simply scroll down select the multi edition ISO and click on download now. I have already downloaded the ISO file which is right here. Next we will need to either create or download an auto attended XML file. Now what you can do is actually go on to this website and generate your own custom auto unattend file with many settings and custom scripts that you want to run. But the one that I want to show today is actually called unattended winstall and it's by memory. Now this one has a lot of popular scripts built into it including the Chris Titus tech tools as well as many other custom scripts that will debloat and optimize your Windows. Windows. So once you are here, simply click on the latest version under the releases, then scroll down and click on the auto unattend.xml and it will download the xml file. Now since I have already downloaded it, it's right here. I'm gonna go through this xml file at the end of the video and show you exactly what it does in each and every step. So for now, let's move on to how to actually use this inside of the iso file. Now there are basically two methods. The first one is simple and easy and it's by using Rufus. For this of course you will need a bootable USB drive and we will be creating that through Rufus. So simply download it from the description and run it as admin. Once it opens up select your USB drive then go ahead and select the ISO that we just downloaded, hit open then click on start and make sure that you uncheck all of these because this is going to create another unattend file which we don't want because we already have our custom one. So I'm gonna hit ok and then it's going to completely format that USB drive and burn this ISO onto it. But before proceeding why even use these answer files and not download a custom ISO? So we don't need to install any custom ISOs which can have security concerns because we can do this on the official Microsoft Windows ISOs for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Also this is an official Microsoft feature which is completely safe since everything within the answer file is readable and anything malicious can be easily detected. Plus you are not bound by the customizations that are pre-done in the custom ISOs since you can customize pretty much everything for yourself within here. And once Rufus finishes all you would need to do is open up your USB drive then copy this XML file and then go ahead and paste it inside of here. And that's it now you can boot through this USB drive and install a debloated and optimized Windows 11 or Windows 10 if that's what you chose. The second method that I actually prefer since it integrates this auto unattend file into the ISO itself and it's done by using a software called Anyburn so simply go ahead and download it from the description. So once you have the software downloaded and installed, simply open it up and click on edit image file. Then go ahead and browse the ISO file that we just downloaded for Windows 11 or Windows 10 and then hit open. Then click on next once more and inside of here now all you would need to do is simply drag and drop the auto unattend file that we downloaded and you should be able to see it right here. Then what you would need to do is click on next. Then make sure to select the image file name which in my case I'm simply gonna go ahead and remove this image. English so that I can distinguish between the old one and the new one. Then click on create now and this is going to create another ISO file right here which is going to have the auto unattend file integrated within inside of it. So that took about a minute and now we have a custom ISO file with all of our scripts integrated into it. So I'm gonna hit exit and let's fire up a VM so I can guide you through the installation process. So here as you can see a lot of CMD commands are popping up and these are applying some of the custom scripts that are going to customize and optimize this window. Windows install. And once the setup loads up you can see that there is this little window right here and if I maximize it you can see that it is scanning for newly created system registry hive file to disable windows defender services. Now you must not close this script because it is required for running the next scripts as well so we are gonna be simply going ahead and minimize it then click on next select your keyboard hit next once again. Then once here I'm simply gonna click on I don't have a product key select the windows 11 pro 
then hit next and as you can see that it has skipped not only the license terms but it has also skipped all of those dpm checks and windows 11 requirements once we have the drive i'm simply gonna go ahead and click on next to install it on this drive and then this pretty minimal windows installation process will begin So as you can see that around 58% it's going to run a lot of scripts and these are the main scripts that are responsible for debloating and optimizing the windows. So this can take some time and you just need to be patient. And finally here we are in the out of the box experience. This has also been modified as you will see so I'm gonna select the country and region. Let's select the keyboard. Skip. And here it is, as you can see that there is no option for the Microsoft account and I highly recommend you to not use the Microsoft account because it comes built in with a lot of telemetry and spyware services that you don't want to be running on your system. So this install is going to let you create a local account. So I'm gonna simply go ahead and type in Recnetic, then hit next, next again and we are done. So here we are, as you can see that the start menu is completely clean and you can even remove this getting started by right clicking on it and then click on remove from list. And after the first logon, you will see this screen. Now these are the recommended user settings have been successfully applied and we can visit this script to reapply or revert the settings. Windows Defender is disabled, we can enable it from here or we can enable it from the script later on. Since I don't want to enable Defender, I'm gonna leave it as is. I also don't want to enable the UAC, so I'm simply gonna go ahead and click on restart to apply changes then hit on yes to make sure that the system reboots and now after the first reboot everything is complete so let's go to the start menu go to all apps and as you can see that the only things remaining here are the calculator as well as microsoft edge and notepad and that's basically it everything else has been removed and if i open up the windows settings let's go on to the privacy and security let's go to the security this is of course disabled let's go back and go into the general privacy settings and everything here is turned off as well let's move on to the task manager and then check out the processes and as you can see we are hovering around 109 processes at this time which can be reduced even more of course and we will be looking at that in a minute but let's close out of this and here on the desktop as you can see that we have a powershell script simply right click on it and run it as administrator and inside of here if i go on to the software and apps simply by typing in one and then hit enter you can see that we can install software and remove bloatware apps so if i go on and press two then hit enter it asks if you want to remove all the windows those apps now these apps have been of course removed because we used the unattended win install but for those of you who don't want to perform a clean install of windows you can simply use the script on your already installed windows and it will do pretty much the same thing let's go back to the main menu and then go to tasks and services by typing in five and then hitting enter then i want the minimal services so i'm gonna type in one and then hit enter and service startup types updated successfully press enter to continue and after the restart those services should be down as well and after a quick reboot you can see that the processes are now down in 90s which is even better and now you can simply install your gpu drivers update other drivers install your games use any custom browsers and that's basically it now let's move on to inspecting the auto unattend file so we can see what it actually does and how it actually does that so i'm gonna simply right click on it and open it up with any text editor of your choice i'm simply gonna use the vs code and inside of here you can see that the first section is for x86 architecture and this this is for the windows 10 users since windows 11 only has the x64 bit version let's move on to the 64 bit version of all of these components and here as you can see that the processor architecture is amd64 and this is for both intel and amd64 bit process architecture under the product key it simply provides a generic key so you can select the version that you want to install and then it's going to auto accept any of the licenses and then it goes ahead and bypasses the windows 11 requirements such as the tpm check secure boot check storage even cpu and ram check then what it's gonna do is simply disable the windows defender right from the start then if i move even further down it will prevent the auto detection of windows edition and forces windows setup to show all available editions of windows during the setup this is so that you can go ahead and select your own version of windows whether you want to install the pro version or the home version or any other version that is available within your iso file scrolling down even further we are back on the x86 architecture so i'm gonna skip this part and move on to the x64 architecture 
picture. And now inside of here, as you can see that it's going to run some scripts. Now for the Windows style, as you can see that these are hidden. So a lot of these scripts are actually hidden inside of the Windows install process. But you can of course still see the Windows pop up and pop out from time to time. So this is going to disable the UAC as well as enable running of PowerShell scripts. Skips the forced Microsoft account creation. Then it's also going to enable the .NET 3.5 for Windows installation media. Creates a specialized face marker file so that you can run the specialized function that will be down. Also runs the recommended unintended install scripts. Creates unintended install script shortcut on desktop which is the one that we saw when we installed the Windows. Then it loads the default user registry so that changes can be made to it. Adds bunch of registry keys into it. And then disables all the network adopters temporarily so Windows doesn't update during the OOBE or the out of the box experience. Then it's going to simply go ahead and skip a bunch of these agreements and the EULA pages which are part of the OOB itself. And finally here are the scripts that are run from the above. And as you can see this is the main script that we saw on the desktop as well. So you can basically go through all of these options and check out what it's actually doing. For example if I go here and you wanted to install a browser from the menu you can see that it's going to install a browser using the winget which is kind of a package manager for Windows and then it's going to install any of the browser that you want. Same thing with remove all of the bloatware as well as different settings that can be changed from here. If I scroll even further down you can see a lot of these registry keys that are being updated into the registry hive. So this is how basically everything is applied from the unintended windows install into the windows iso file. So yeah you can go ahead and download it for yourself and modify it for yourself. For example let's say that you don't want to remove windows store. All you will need to do is open up this xml file in a text editor then hit ctrl f and let's search for for store and then hit enter until we arrive at this point and inside of here as you can see that it's going to remove the microsoft store under the remove bloatware apps function what you can do is simply go ahead and remove this whole name from here as well as this comma and that's it now go ahead and save this file then copy it onto your drive or burn it through the anyburn then simply install the windows and this time you will have the microsoft store available at your windows since it won't be removed similarly if you want to remove the notepad let's say you can simply go ahead and type in its name here of course you will need the proper name like these ones then save it and that's it that's how easy and simple it is to add or remove any of the apps and any other scripts from this file so i'm gonna go and install this custom windows 11 on my main pc while well, you can go ahead and check out this video to completely customize your windows install